Like, there's a part of me is just like, yay, the game is ending, I can move on and play this game again. But then there's a part of me, morning at the pickaxe, if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this, you're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey, dude, at the old Snalkin, come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Plants are to be p uh, pitied, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. <laughs> oh, I forgot the daily news bulletin. News bulletin. Uh, economy today, turn up founder Mike, uh, founder Mike Eggplant to buy postal service. What? Why would the eggplant man want to buy turnips? Turn up for what? Bird. I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. <laughs> All right. Honey, you okay? Ah, uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all! Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You are a miracle, baby. That's me. A miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there were you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... I'm not pregnant! I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. Well, you have to say something, May. You know, if you did have a baby... Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you, too. He's so adorable family. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh, God, Mom. If it was a girl, you could name her... Trash Baby. Cordelia. Why don't I just name the baby and hand it to you? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, bye. I'm leaving. <laughs> Silly family moments. That still doesn't get rid of the horror of... Everything is ending. The hole is getting bigger. Everyone is dying. It's like... Thank you, not God creature. You're such a help. You uncaring bastard. Because, like, it still feels like the end is a ways away, almost. I don't want it to end just yet. It ending is just, like, feels like I haven't accomplished that much because I, I missed some hanging out things and I'm angry. Brr. At the same time, then I could go through again and go the other paths, actually do the things I failed to do because I'm a failure! <laughs> with a new sense of what's going to happen. Sure, the parts that I've already played through would be a uh, little monotonous almost, because it's sort of a replayability with replayable, well, replayability with parts that aren't as replayable as others. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer. On the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem cheer you up? Yeah. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report. Life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great. But life is hard. Let's get gr <laughs> let's grill hot dogs. In the backyard. Thank you, Somers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Chesikov's up there again. He ever, like, dropped the telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Summers? Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only, like, twice a week. Should be every night. <laughs> More glimpses into people's lives. What about you? Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. Well, take care of your porch, man.
Dang it. I didn't follow through. One, two, three! There we go. But I honestly well, I want to know what the twist is. What is the twist? It's like, that reminds like, what is it? Like, what? What's in the box? How much is it? What's in the box worth? Storage wise. May! Mr. Chazakov, you look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? <laughs> it changed it up. You know it. Come have a look. Oh, no mention of screaming eyes this time. Oh. I think I got one. Let us see. Ferdinand, the mountaineer. Ferdinand. It's a fun name. It is. So what's up with this guy? Ferdinand was from a flatland. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his homestead was flat? Isn't that a common instinct? To seek out that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff and there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt this same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day in their lives. So what happened to Ferdinand? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. There we go. Gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Adina Astra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina's stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her? Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again. Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? She lived well. She did many amazing things. It is not sad to die, having done so much. I guess. Still sucks, dying. It is a shame. Oh, that's all for the day. That was nice. What a way. What a way. Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Adina Astra. A little surprised to actually see her. Really nice, like, reference to good old... Good old, good old. Lost Constellation. Any Nula? Probably should have done the disappearing thing because Casey disappeared. It's sad. Uh, general traversing through the pierogi tunnels. Talk to the teens. So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harvest. 
Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Melvay. Mulvey? You know someone from Mulvey? Yeah? Do you know where Mulvey is? Do you know what Mulvey is? No. I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? He don't stop there n no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds a bit right. What's Mulvey? I'll take you- I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to get- go get back in the sun now. What is Mulvey? What is it you're not telling me, May? Apparently it must be a bad place because his dad stopped driving the bread truck to Mulvey and then the company had to pay someone else to do it. So, Mulvey must be a bad place. Whatever a Mulvey is. Now you're just messing with me and the kid. <laughs> I have this friend online, but she hasn't been on in a few since Harfest. And it's just like, yeah, congratulations. You're messing with a kid now. You're a squid, you're a kid, you're a squid, you're a kid, you're a squid, you're a kid. I'm going to talk to everyone, and the first one that says, hey, I want to hang out, I'll hang out with you. Yo, where's Bruce boy? There's Bruce boy. Hey, can you do a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch, water my grandba watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope is important. That's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Ah, it's sweet. A little optimistic kind of expecting to go back and then the people that you kind of sort of maybe have abandoned will still be there a little bit uh, mm -hmm. like you said hope's important hope springs eternal Why does this place have like two graveyards? Unless there's like this one, then another one, or is that one just extends into the deep dark area? Probably not going to talk to Kate if she's here because, oh, people. Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space, and we have people who need space. We have resources, and we have poverty. And, in, and not in some far-off place of some big city. Right here, right across the street. Karen, it's our number one job right now, to bring businesses into town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Karen. You have a good heart, Karen. Thank you all for coming. Let's just hope that May doesn't spill the beans. Uh, stressful day. 
Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever, it's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. It's like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? I don't think it was a dream. Oh, wow. That happens, right? Or, like, happened? Sure. Can you tell me about it? Hmm. It felt like the shore more than... Uh, desert? It was like the shore of this giant black ocean. I could see, like, forever into the sky, and below it was just sand. As far as I could see. I was wandering through it a bit, but... I was, like, drawn to something, and I came over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was a imp of God, just sitting there, up on another hill, or dune, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They, like, didn't care. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they didn't care. In general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions and annoyed that anyone thought uh, they were anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about it. This giant hole in the center of everything, growing. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? I had this problem when I was in high school, and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm here all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I guess. Sometimes that's the best you've got. Yeah. I feel like that's maybe not a good enough answer for you. Is that a good enough answer for anyone? Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe in? Hmm... I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe. In something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up every, there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believe that week. But... Who would, who would that help? But you're a pastor, and you can't tell me whether there's not not a god or not. Whether anyone is watching, anyone who gives a shit. No, but then what's the point of you? I have to go. Okay. That was rather rude, May. Tiny bit rude. But I can kind of get it when you kind of have this dream. Hey, hon, are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on, Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. May, I've always had a job. It's just another one. Gotta get back to work. See you, mummers. See you, daughters. <laughs> I guess, like, I understand uh, frustration. Like, you have a dream, you have weird dreams consistently, you think you're seeing ghosts, and then this thing that says people have been calling it God, but it doesn't want to be God, because it doesn't think it's God, and it's just saying nothing matters, and you kind of, well, that's kind of a depressing thing to do, have a mental image that feels so real, just say, yeah, nothing matters, kid. And then the person that's supposed to be telling you, yes, everything is good and happy and wonderful, isn't 100% themselves. Silence! 
I'm trying to be existential here or something. Why is with the marching music? I'm going to visit Mallard. Huh, ah, that door never opened. Or at least it hasn't so far. But it just, I said never because it feels like we're coming to something. Stupid god thing. Stupid god things is making me think that the end is near. The end is nigh! Hold up signs saying everything's doomed. Or something. Getting me kind of... I don't know. Kind of sad. I almost don't want this to end. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. The doves, they don't care if you jump over them, but if you walk past them, then they'll lose their mind. Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the train tracks. Did you want to come? Sounds good, actually. Oh, good, good, good. Let's go. Totally, let's. Like I said, first person that I'll talk to is the first one that'll... Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lo lights from last year still up. <laughs> Someone on my street does that, too. We got pumpkins last year. We got left them out too long, and they, like, liquefied. Oh, yeah, I remember that happened with ours one year. My mom was so mad at my dad. It was, like, his job to get rid of him. He had, like, mop it up. I seen, like, a time-lapse video of when a corpse decays and, like, everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yep. Okay, so, like, a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. Another minigame! Oh, no, just sitting here. I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. Why? I don't know. I feel excited and can sleep. You ever have that where you're so excited you go to sleep? I have stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. I remember my dreams. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes, but sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business there. <laughs> the train drowns out the music, goes on by. And yep, just put them right back. Don't care. I have weird thoughts. Like sometimes I want to go to sleep in the woods or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day and only come out at night and be like a monster and like beautiful. I know the feeling. I want to eat people sometimes. Really? Pretty much as soon as I meet anyone, I wonder what they taste like. I feel like the world is full of bad people. It would be good to eat. Mmm. <laughs> now that's a fast train. Oh, risky business, kid. Have to set up a... Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. <laughs> ah, little Mel dude run over by things. Whoa, yay! You know, the little Mel guy's all... Wow, he represents the human soul. This is important art. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, okay, okay. Let's roll. And this is the test. If it's not night... It answers my question, I'm gonna shoot myself in the head. Ah! I am very upset. 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 I am going to kill everything. Laters. Lori M. Horror movies, trains. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. 
I'm very upset. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. I'm going to keep saying that because it is what I am. It is burning into my skull of how much I suck. Hey, Bia. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Wander around town. Have fun. That must be a go hang out thingy. Hmm. Hmm. Now that brings up another question of like, if you hang out with her, does that advance the story? Makes one wonder. If I hang out with beer, will that advance the story? So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. <laughs> and she goes like, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both danced on that table and nearly broke the damn thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. And of course, go talk to the saxophone person and try and jump off the building again onto the clickety-clack snickety-snack. Oh yeah. Right. One, two, three. I forget what's this way. Wasn't it just another windmilly? Yep, just another windmilly. Funny, funny that other houses you can just normally walk across, but that one, nope. Got about. Dang chips, messing with my vocal cords. Hi again. It's you, kid. I'm actually 20. I'm 38. You're a kid. Okay. How'd you find this place? I mean, I knew this was up here since I was a kid, but only got up the nerve to really break in recently. Why's that? Not getting any younger. And this place could fall in any day. You could get to a point in life where the number of first evers gets lower, and the number of never agains gets higher. I don't know. I know what you mean. No, you don't. You know... Do you know the guy across town? What guy? The guy I told you about. Yeah? He seems lonely. And you seem lonely. Um, you two could play together. Uh, did I make this weird? No, it's fine. What's, what's he playing? Violin? Fiddle? Are they the same? Huh, okay. Well, if you see him again, tell him to stop by. Unless he's a creep or something. He doesn't seem like a creep. Well, I got mace. <laughs> Well, not a bad assessment. It's like, meh, yeah, I've got mace. <laughs> oh, Billy Boy! Damn it! Probably have to land on one of the light fixture thingies. Hey. Hey, Angel. This is my friend May. Hey, May. What's up? Cool name. Gracias. Much obliged. Angel's just in town between trains. Going west next? Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the gulf. Lay in the sun. <coughs> yeah, eat me some crawfish. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Have you met anyone named Casey out on the rails? Hmm, let me think. You know what he or she looked like? He he looked kind of like me, a little taller, orangish hair. Nah, man, don't recollect. But I've seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. I tell you what, I'll ask around, and if I find him, or well, someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks, that means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah, it's a cold world, run by the worst people. 
and Goodman die for God knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Yeah. Thanks again. <coughs> What's traveling like? So good, it's good. Never could stay in one spot. I have, like, the exact opposite problem. All right, partners. Well, for me, time for me to shove off. See ya, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. Well, that's over. No fun? No fun. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost, Germ. A real-life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. That's... Jeez. Well, dinner time. See ya. <coughs> Don't know why. Maybe just transitioning all the voices messes with me. Throat. Me throat. Well, I want to hang out with Greg, at least. Then I might hang out with, uh... What's up, Duder? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Huh. Yep, that's how my week's going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? To replace the idea of a caring God? I can throw in some chips. <laughs> I'm good. So what's up? You wanna hang out? Yeah, man, let's roll! Ow, oh, my leg. It popped. It hurt. Huh, so this is the thing? This is the thing. It's kind of our son. We brought him into this world. Well, you helped. It kind of smells weird. Anyway. So what are we doing tonight? Ah, oh, no, we have Bia's car. Oh, really? We should go to Donut Wolf. Oh, yeah! I haven't been since I got back. I need some of those Slammer Cakes. They have pancakes now, too, for some reason. Ooh! Hey, Captain. Donut Wolf. Huh? They got pancakes now. Fine. Ride the chariot to Donut Hell! <laughs> Legends. And that's all the people I've kissed. That's two people. Kinda. One and a half. Whatever. Like your average is any better. Angus, you've been really quiet. Sorry. You okay? We're gonna get pancakes! Hey, Angus. Angus. Hey. Gonna get them flapjacks. Angus. <laughs> Paging Dr. Jackson. Dr. Flap Jackson. Please report to my belly. Oh, yes. Pancakes. Dude. Dude. God. Damn. It. Whoa, did you get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No, Donut Wolf! May. We'll get there, we'll push the car. Okay, you all stay in here. What's going on here? Because it's a flat. You don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? You just don't. It messes up the wheel or something. How do you know so much about cars? We can fix it. With what? We gonna get some sticks? That's silly. No, I mean, people fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do when they have a goddamn tire. Guys, why are you being such a dick? Why am I the one that has to be the responsible one? Guys! One May! Don't yell at May! Ah, I'm gonna wander. Fine. Fine! Okay, ah. So what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do. We could call someone. Oh, do we suddenly carry phones? Because there's magically signal now in this piece of shit town. Jeez! Okay, well. 
Okay, what can a f fix a flat tire? Uh, sticks, rocks, leaves, wood, dirt. Maybe I can whittle a little wrench with that log. <laughs> Wonder if I could, like, turn, train an owl to do owl tricks. No, focus me. <laughs> hey, dinguses. What? There's a spare in the back here. Oh, oh, nice. That's one good thing. Anyone know how to, like, do the tire? Yeah. Can I help? No. Dude. May, you're not a bad person, but I do not trust you with any spare, with any part of this process. Jeez, man. Jeez. Too bad you didn't get partially eaten by a shark. Too bad you didn't get serial killed. Too bad you didn't start doing drugs and then died from drugs. We tried a weed a while back. Too bad you didn't OD and die from it. Okay, are you two done? Finally here. Yep. Ah, yeah. The wolf of the donut. Ah, woo. Yep. Welcome to Donut Wolf, home of the Slammer Cake, now featuring pancakes with special Howlin' Mid Maple Syrup. How would you like to ride the chariot today? Hello, sir. Mighty fine donuts you got there. Thank you, ma'am. We'll take half a dozen go-nuts. Dude, we should go chariot wheels. We got chariot wheels last time. I want Slammer Cakes. Actually, we are out of Slammer Cakes. What? How can you be out of Slammer Cakes? That's like half the reason to come here. Do just pick up something. Okay, we'll take half a dozen chariot wheels. Would you like to take... Would you like them with eternity sauce? No. All right, all right, I'll take... Six doom nuts. Are those new? Limited edition, ma'am. Well, to... Well, they're about to be even more limited. And no eternity sauce. Last time I had that, I stayed up all night digging a hole in our backyard. They found me asleep in the morning at the bottom of a hole. Yes, ma'am. Are we eating here? I guess. Whatever. Um, yeah, let's eat here. Fine. I'm gonna go find a seat. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. This is fun. Clear sarcasm. This isn't fun. This blows. Why are things weird? Why doesn't this feel good? Everything's stupid. I'm gonna break something. Anger management, write in the journal. Follow the doctor's orders. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay. Okay, game. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Oh, now that's just horrible. Not to the donut wolf. What did they ever do to you? Well, besides the doom nut or the eternity sauce. May, you little vandal horrible person. Dude, stop! What the hell? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Okay, fine. That was a dumb question. Okay, why are you doing this? Do I need a reason? Yeah, I kind of think you do. Since when? What are you doing in here? Getting you! I can find my way out myself. Fine. 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 Kind of weird question, but did you go before you decided to trash the bathroom? Or... God, Greg didn't even have to go. Okay, jeez. I do now. We have a table for you when you're done. Leave. Right, okay. Weird that the one that is normally the one that's like, hey, let's stab each other in the hands, is the one that's like, hey, stop. So. How you guys doing? 
anything new other than, you know, all this stuff that's been happening. <clears throat> Ghosts and stuff. Yep, that's pretty new. Hey, Angus, how'd you get Bia's car for tonight? She was going to go to a party out of town, but I guess she lost her nerve. Oh. And Greg and I were supposed to do something. This is something. Let's just eat. Yes, please, let's eat. Woohoo! Ah, uh, so I missed the party with beer. Oh, God. If God even exists. These donuts. You're not religious, right, Angus? No. Have donuts ever made you think twice? No. So, how's our son working out? He's in our living room. He sure is. Pretty great. Yep. Greg, you're awful quiet. Just eating. You never had a problem talking and eating at the same time. Donut's sick already. It smells. Dude. Donut Wolf. The robot thing. I thought you'd like it. I smell and you like me. Yeah, to both of those things. Greg spent a lot of time and effort on that robot because he thought you'd love it. No, he did it because it was fun. No matter what could happen. Jeez. Ooh, feeling woozy. Angus, you're being rude. I'm being rude. We're trying to get out of here. Both working our asses off. And you come waltzing back into town, and suddenly Greg is breaking into grocery stores. Abandoned ones? And like stealing car batteries. Abandoned ones? And messing up our already crappy apartment. Hey, dude, come on. Wait, how is this my fault? Whatever I'm eating. Oh, cripes. Oh, sweet cripes. I'm falling into the sky. How do donuts do that to you? How? What? Donuts make you go woozy? You get drunk of donuts, lady? Ugh. It was all weird colored. Puke usually isn't that color. It was like multiple colors. You okay, May? <clears throat> yeah, no. Uh. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. I'm really mad at you two. Why? I hate awkward silences. Am I like running, ruining your lives or something? Just tell me if I am instead of whatever this is. What? No, May, I like you fine. Why are you being weird then? Um, so... Angus, I'll take this. Thanks, hon. May, remember my uncle? Sheep farm out past Brittle, out by the interstate? Yeah, kinda. When I was like eight, my mom, my parents got sick of me. And made me spend like a month there in the summer. And spent the whole time following him around. Sheep are nice. I got, I got to pet one once. Sheep are real dumb is what they are. One afternoon before dinner, my uncle left me by the pen. And for some reason, I opened the gate. Well, they do. So a bunch of the sheep basically immediately bolted, and I chased after being all, You dumbass sheep! You tried, bug. They ran across the field, then into the woods, and there was this really steep hill that went down to the interstate. Oh. Oh, no. What happened? Four got splattered by a semi-truck. Some ran back up the hill. But three made it over the median and across to the other side, and they just stopped. I got to the bottom of the hill by the road, which was, like, covered in sheep guts and parts. And we just looked at each other across the interstate. Me waving my hands. Two ran back. Got hit by another truck. God. But the other one, he ran down the hill and on the other side. Into the woods. And no one ever saw him again. Jeez, dude. Your tattoo. Yeah. Uh, I slipped the meaning. That's awful for you. Poor sheep. But if I was in their position, I'd have run too. And I want to be that, and I want to be the one that got away. And I want Angus to come with me. I failed those sheep. 
just like, you know, everything has failed us. That's a bit... No one even denies it. No one tries to talk you out of leaving here. And yeah, being the only queer people in town sucks. I'm here. You already left once. But I'm back. I can't stay. We can't stay. I guess. And I love Angus. I love both of you. Obviously in different ways. Thanks for clarifying. We have a plan and we're working our asses off to make it happen. Two guys, full-time, minimum wage. I have to grow up a bit. I did grow up a bit. May, you have to let me change. Sorry I was rude earlier. It's okay. Remember the time we almost burned down the school? <laughs> yeah. Fireworks, student council poster, just whoosh. God, that was a good night. Soaked from splinkers. Running through the parking lot. Launching our asses off. Oh, God, yeah. That was maybe the best night of my entire life. It's one of the all-time greats. Kids still talk about it. That night lives on, man. Well, we can at least be legends. Forever. Well, tonight was a complete bust. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing, Angus. I'm sorry, too. It's cool. And I have an idea. Oh, yeah? You up for one more big crime? You can come to this time, Angus. Do a crime with us. I... Okay. Ah, Captain, Captain Criminal. Let's go. One big hurrah. Be legends. Oof. This thing is gonna really freak some kids out. Yeah, dude. They're gonna tell stories about this time. They'll never know what it is or how it got here. You guys sure you're okay with it? Yeah, this is a good home for it. Leave it here for the kids. Let it be a legend. Mm, yeah. Too bad it didn't fall on you. Too bad you didn't get your arm caught, off, caught in the greers. Too bad both of you didn't get trapped in the car after a wreck and explode all over the road and have to be scraped up with a snow shovel. Nice. Decent, Captain. <laughs> all right, well. Moving on. Yep. Goodbye. Oof, that was heavy. <laughs> that was heavy stuff, man. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow, are you okay? No. Okay, so what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? <clears throat> I don't even know. That's how it is sometimes. But it's not always a great reason. I know. It's just... I've been having these dreams. And I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares. That feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. Where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is on their own way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. That's not even counting the money problems. Yeah, money problems make everything worse. I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive and... and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. More heaviness. Malloy. Gabo? Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. Why, Garbo, do you think there's someone up there watching us? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. These are big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? 
Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. You're making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. Uh, you could, Malloy, but it would be... A whopper. Catch the phrase. Should have seen it coming. Coming up next, Carbo and I contact the dead. I don't want things to end. Things are going somewhat well. But I just feel like it'll be abrupt if it ends now. Unless there's just like a huge climax coming. Hey, hey, Bea, you up? Yes, ma'am. What's up? Nothing. A little sick from Donut Wolf. Yeah, that's why I don't go there. It's so good. How can it be so good and so, like, mean to you? It's a wild world, May. Anyway, I puked and then we dropped a robot in the woods. Okay, I'm too sleepy to try to decipher that. Go to sleep. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Sorry about, like, everything. Are we still apologizing? Can we pa pa Can we be past that part? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know. <laughs> Night, duder. Night. Yeesh. Well, there's nothing else to do. Will there be a weird dream tonight? The giant cat god said they was patching up the sky. Oh, there's the thing, so that means we must be waking up. Unless it's going to change the rules on me.